Hello, it's Michael Watts here, and in this video, I'm going to share some thoughts about redwood guitars. In the past couple of months, several redwood guitars have passed through my hands, including this Loudon that I reviewed for the guitar magazine, and of course, this Taran Oroval that you may have already seen on my channel. Redwood started to be seen as a serious option for steel string guitars in the mid to late 1990s. As you might expect, uh, the luthiers at the spearhead of that charge were mainly from California. They had uh, a lot more access than the rest of the world to this rare wood. Uh, one in particular springs to mind, the late Lance McCullum. I'm fairly sure that the very first Redwood guitar I ever played was one of his. And Lance was also a pioneer when it came to the use of quilted mahogany from the tree. It didn't take long for Redwood to capture the imagination of fingerstyle players around the world, especially guitarists who were looking for something outside of what they'd already heard from spruce and cedar. One of the things that makes Redwood guitars so popular with solo fingerstyle players is the compressed nature to the sound, almost like it's already been run through some really expensive studio outboard kit. And in fact, I'll go one further. Uh, to my ears, a really great Redwood guitar, it's almost like it's going through a limiter in that there's a point where it won't get any louder, but it will never distort. And so you can really explore some interesting dynamic textures. Redwood guitars often have a phenomenal top end, shiny and liquid in the trebles. They are, to my ears at least, the epitome of the scooped mid guitar with a, a strong bass. It's not always the most articulate, but it's very present. Everything that you need for supporting a melody. Bear in mind that this powerful treble response doesn't just bring out the melody. It will also accentuate your finger noise and string squeaks and anything else. And it may require a little bit of adjustment from your technique. One of the joys of playing a redwood guitar from my point of view is the way that a single note will often spiral off into a high harmonic. It's very inspiring, and you'll also get a lot of sympathetic resonance from the other open strings. A criticism often levelled at Redwood guitars is that they have that one beautiful sound and that's about it. And it's true that if you're a player that uses a lot of uh, different attacks and techniques with the picking hand, such as rest strokes or nail returns, you may find that these approaches don't have the same impact that they would on a spruce instrument, for example. That said, redwood can sound so beautiful, you may not even notice. You can add a redwood soundboard to vitreous back and sides, such as Brazilian rosewood, wenge, or African blackwood, for a huge, cavernous, cathedral-like sound. Or you can dial it back a bit with uh, drier woods on the back and side, such as sapelli, uh, mahogany, walnut, or even maple. Either way, if you're a guitarist looking for an instrument with a super fast response and amazing detail in the treble, check out a Redwood guitar. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you found it useful, please do subscribe to my channel, and until next time, stay tuned. Mm -hmm.